So for our first math lesson, we are measuring angles. And yes, I, I have to admit measuring angles in an online class is difficult, but we're going to do it anyway. So uh, this online protractor, so the, the, the hub will take you to this site. And what it really asks you, what it shows is that, okay, we have, a red, we have an angle here and I can make the protractor disappear, right? And we're trying to measure the value of A, okay? That is the measure from the or, uh, here, this red line here, and it goes up like that to where this line is, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna call in the protractor. Now, notice when you're measuring, just like I said on the other video, that the, the red line goes through the baseline here and it cuts right through the zero. And I lined up the protractor so the point of the angle is at the origin and it, and it goes up this way. Now, if we look at the scale, it goes zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, and it's 50, maybe just before 50. So it might be 50 degrees, it might be 49 degrees. If you're off by one little single degree, that's fine. Now, if I touch the A over here, it gives me the measure, right? 50 degrees, okay? Now, so this is an acute angle because it's less than 90. So a 90 degree angle goes straight up and down, okay? Now, I just kind of noticed that there's a question mark here. Oh, there, there's a right angle. Right, so it tells you that it's a right angle. That's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hide all again. So I'm gonna to touch the, the question mark and I'm also gonna to touch the A. There we go. Now let's create a new angle. So I'll, I'm gonna come maybe just over here. And then I'm gonna ask you, um, what measure is this? Now, hopefully you got time to say a number. Uh, again, notice that the baseline goes right through the zero. Uh, and then here's the angle measure. Okay, and if we count up, we're going this way, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and just past the 60. So um, it will tell you that it's 60 and something. So it, maybe you, you would say 62 or 63. Uh, and if I touch A, it will tell you that it's 62 degrees. And if I touch the question mark, it tells you that it's an acute angle, right? So let's get a little bit more. I'll do some more angles. I'll do one here. Okay. And there we go. Actually, I can't do that because <laughs> I just gave you the answer, but it shows you that it's 144 degrees and it's an obtuse angle because the zero is here. It goes through the baseline and it's going all the way around and it's just past 140. So it's 144 degrees. Let's hide it this time. So we'll hide everything. And then I will move there, we'll put it there. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you, and I'll pause, what is the measure of this angle? Okay, so again, I was, I'm repeating myself, but there's the origin. It's all lined up perfectly. It goes right through the zero, and it's going all the way around, right? So this measurement here is, you know, there's 90, okay, there's 110, there's 120, so it's less than 120, so it might be 115 or 116. So if I touch A, there it says 116, and then if you touch the question mark, it tells you that it's an obtuse angle. Now, one final thing that we could do on, on this website for today is that we can pull, do the dice. Now, uh, I'll get rid of the protractor for a second. Now, I can hide, okay? And then if I touch the dice, it just makes a random angle. And what that allows you to do, uh, it allows you to line up the protractor correctly. Okay, so when I touch this button here, the red circle, it flips the protractor so that you can measure it the other way. So watch how the numbers flip. Okay, so the baseline goes um, here. So if I touch this red circle, you can line everything up, right? So I'm gonna make sure that my red line goes at the origin and then right through the zero. And then I'm looking at this angle here, it goes up like that. And it looks like, um, well, I'll give you a chance to think about what number it is. Okay, so it's more than 50 and it's just under 60. Okay, if you said about 56 degrees, that's what I would have said. I'll touch here and I'll touch here. So it's an acute angle, right? Now let's try one more. So I'll do the dice. Okay, so I'll get rid of the protractor. I'll hide, and I'll hide this one too. And I'll do a dice like that, like that. There we go. So now it's just, there it is. 
So then there's a protractor, it's not lined up correctly. Now, this one is an obtuse angle, right? So um, you don't have to flip the protractor because if you flip it, it's gonna, you're not gonna get the right measurement, but just know that you can always flip it if it's the other type of angle, right? So I'm gonna take this red circle here and I'm gonna move it. And there we go. So the red line goes right at the origin and it goes right through 180, okay? It's more than 90, and I was wrong, you do have to flip it. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna touch this one here. There we go. So then here's 90, there's 100, here's 110. So the answer is between 100 and 110. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe it's 108. So if I touch A, it's gonna say, there we go, 108 degrees. And if I touch the question mark, it will tell you that it's an obtuse angle. So follow the instructions on, on the website. And um, you could even take a picture of your work and send it to me through Google Drive because uh, one student did and I kind of liked that idea. So if, you're, if you know how to do that, take a picture of your screen and send it to me and I'll, and I'll post it on the site. Um, so I hope you understand this and please feel free to ask questions. Thank you.